the next Last of Us Part 1 patch is here and unfortunately it's still not doing a great deal for Steam Deck. As you can see here with no FSR, even on the lower settings, it's not holding above 24 frames per second in some scenes. I was hoping that it would be enough performance improvement to have this on FSR 2 quality, but if I stay in the same scene, you can see it barely manages 30 frames per second, so it does look quite good. The frame time is still bouncing around a little bit, but it does feel very slightly smoother. I was hoping that it would stay stable around the 2930 mark, but it did still dip down into the mid and low 20s with that FSR2 on the quality mode, which is a shame because the performance mode is a little bit too far and the balance mode is just enough to make it more stable, but does also ruin the quality just that little bit more. So FSR2 quality mode is still not really possible in this update. Although they have some very minor Steam Deck updates with this patch, it really hasn't done a lot. I was hoping that the streaming for the CPU usage would even things out a bit. So we are getting both CPU and GPU usage in the 90s and not capping out, but it's still not enough. Even on FSR2 balance mode, on those lower settings, we still get dips into the mid 20s, but I will admit it does feel more playable. Overall, it is a bit smoother and we aren't getting as much of the big dips. And even with tons of zombies coming at you and tons of things going on, although it does dip into those mid 20s, it doesn't feel as bad. So I do feel it's a lot more playable. You are gonna be able to manage that 30 frames per second for the most part with FSR2 balance on the lower settings. And they have seemed to have fixed the shader caching issue on start. So you're not gonna be waiting around for an hour for those shaders to compile in the first instance. We'll continue to monitor the patches and hopefully next week we'll get some better performance updates that will not only improve things, but actually make the quality a lot better on the Steam Deck as well. But as I said, for the most part, this is actually playable if you don't mind those dips every now and then. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one. Well, that was easier than I thought it'd be.